The Lucknow Super Giants are having a wonderful season in their first IPL year. But someone who's not quite having the season he's had previously is Ravi Bishnoi. Call him a retained player, an acquired player. Eight wickets in the first ten games. I'm going to ask Piyush Chawla, who can't get this ball away from him. I'm going to throw it to him. It looks better in his hand. What's happened to Ravi Bishnoi? Now, the team's doing well, Piyush. So, we tend to think, oh, everything's going great. But Bishnoi's taped off a little bit, fair to say? Yeah, we can say that because what we have seen from him in last couple of seasons, what he has done for the teams, he has done a good job. But this year, he looked a little off-colour. Mm. So, I think uh, he needs to work on a couple of things. And I'm sure Mr. Narendra Dhirwani is there to help him out because he himself was a great leg spinner and he really helped me also when I was going through that kind of a phase. So, I'm sure he must be helping him out with few things. Mm. What I have noticed from here, he must have noticed this for sure. Mm. I've looked at the numbers. There's a higher percentage of Googlies being bowled. And he's bowling a lot quicker. Please make sense of that. Yes, uh, you're correct. Uh, absolutely spot on on that point because he bowled so many googlies because of his action. Hmm. Earlier also he used to do the same, but at that time people were not picking him up and they were going to play his leg spin also. But he's somebody who doesn't spin leg spin at all. And it's all because of his action. If you notice his action, generally if you see any leg spinner, whose hand comes from here, little away from his ear. Yep. But if you see Ravi Bishnoi's action, his hand comes from here. So, if you're bowling from here, it's very difficult to get your leg spin going away from the batter because you don't create that angle. If you're not creating that angle, it's all about angles. Mm -hmm. So, if you bowl from here, you can't spin it that way at all because if you see his action, he's like this also. So, his hand even goes this side. So, it becomes a little more difficult. And talking about the pace, earlier he was bowling in mid-90s. Mm -hmm. But this season, if you see, because he's not had a great season so far, so he's bowling a bit quicker because once you have like that bad season, you're not that confident of bowling little slow because you think, okay, if I'll bowl little slow, it's easier for the batter yeah. to get underneath the ball. So he's trying to bowl little quick. So in that case, that's not his strength. So in that case, what he's end up doing is he either he's bowling too full, either he's bowling too short. And because of the pace, their batsmen are utilizing that pace. So that's where I feel he's struggling. Okay, so you tell me again, with your hand up, the release for Bishno is? For uh, Vishnu, yeah. it's somewhere here, very close to the ear, not even sometimes close to the ear, it goes even above over. his head. Yeah, so the other so side literally of the above his head yeah. it goes. So it becomes more difficult to spin your leg spin. You need to be little sidearm to spin your leg break. Did you have this problem ever? Yeah, I had it. Mm. I faced the same problem. Even I was heavily dependent on my wrong one. But at the same time, I worked with a couple of coaches when Mr. Naren Dhirwani also yeah. helped me. So, I got my hand, like earlier I was somewhere here, right. very close. So, I got it little wider to spin my leg spin. And you don't need to spin every ball. Mm. You just need to spin those two balls in 10 balls just to show the batsman that yes, I can do that as well. Because if you're not doing that, you become unpredictable. And mm. that's what we have seen here. He has become predictable. All the right-handed ba uh, right batsmen are playing him as an off spinner or who can bowl a straighter one like an off spinner. So that's how, that's why I feel he's struggling because nobody is trying to hit him through offside now. Yeah. Everyone they're just going and covering the stumps and lining him up through long on, yeah. mid wicket and square leg. And with that pace, the pace which he's comes bowling on. with, mm. it comes on to the bat. These Bombay wickets and like Pune wicket, the red soil makes it as a batter you love the pace on the ball, even from the spinners. Because if you're bowling a little quicker, it's not going to spin at all. So, is it as simple as, alright, he just needs to change that angle of release? Or is there some challenge, some something that comes attached to that? Well, it's a big challenge because mm. if you say it, he just needs to change the angle. But this is what he's doing right from the beginning. In junior cricket, in Ranji Trophy, he bowled well. So, you can't change that habit overnight. You need to work on that. And I would advise personally that yeah. you don't try and change it in mid-season because whatever you're doing right now, you're going to lose that as well. After that, you can work on that because this is not the time because you need hours and hours to do that. Because as a bowler, I'm telling you, a slight change in the bowling action also can cause a lot of difficulty. So here, if he goes to try and, you know, goes and change that, it's, gonna, it's not going to mm. work for him. I've seen, I've noticed in few of the games now, he tried to bowl leg spin but it didn't, uh, it didn't spin. Turning. It's just going straight. So he needs to get his arm little wider, like somewhere from here. Even if he gets somewhere here, mm -hmm. I'm not even saying like Shane, what the great yeah. Shane Vaughan or somebody like Rahul Chaharu, uh, who bowls a good leg spin. Somewhere here, it will make a huge difference. Mm. All right, Piyush, thank you very much. So let's see if Ravi Bishnoi makes that adjustment. Unlikely to happen mid-season, but it's good advice for him going forward.